Welcome to Shennington for the annual Super Prix. It's one of the biggest club karting events on the UK calendar. Lots of things going on every year, not least the attendance of the British Historic Kart Club. And every season, I have a chat with the chairman of the Historic Kart Club to ask what old carts this year have been restored to new. Tony, every year we're in here and every year me and you have a chat about the old carts that have been restored. It's a, a fascinating thing every season. And we've got three carts we've picked out this year. Talk about this one, first of all. Well, this is a class four gearbox cart from 1960. It's one of the earliest carts here. It's a faster cart um, and it's with the Villiers uh, 197 engine. Uh, normally, these, a lot of these carts, these faster carts, uh, with the early uh, ladder frames. They were nearly always green, but this one was red. And um, it was owned by uh, a lady called Val, Val Nixon, who, who uh, from Liverpool, who used it during, uh, dur during the 60s quite successfully. Um, and as you see, it's been beautifully brought back to life again. It just happened to come up um, for sale. And uh, the guy who's uh, got it now, he was looking for one. Um, and uh, yeah, this is, this is the result. So. A nice restoration. We hope to see it out on track later. Yeah, we'll have a look, um, see if we can pick that up in our coverage of the, uh, the, the carts running at lunchtime. Let's have a look at this one over here. We'll just make our way through the people. Now, this cart is very interesting to me. When I had a look at this earlier, and I said to you, well, this is obviously a, one of the first cadet carts. And uh, you said, no, this is a full adult cart. But it looks quite small. Yes, they are small. They were small in the day. Um, I mean, weight was everything then, so you know they kept it, kept it really to the to the minimum. Um, as you can see, this is uh, a cart with the uh, the seat offset to the to the left and the engine on the right, like all carts are today. It's a copy, really, of a uh, or it's born out of the Techno cart, which came out in 1964 and set that trend. And this really is a zip. This is a zip um, zip international, uh, one of the first uh, zips that was uh, that was manufactured. Um, and would have been run by Martin Hines, the same sort of cart that Martin Hines would have run, who, as you say, went on to, to win the Worlds. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah, a nicely restored, uh, good example of, um, of those early carts. Yeah, beautiful restoration. Now, and the third one we're going to look at, this is arguably the most fascinating of them all. Um, tell us about the history. I know it's a replica. Yeah. It's not driven by the man himself, but tell us all about this one. This is a DAP uh, GP79 with a DAP engine, and it would have been the same uh, uh, kit that would have been uh, campaigned by Ayrton Senna um, back in the, uh, in, the, in the late 70s, just, just really after the period um, when he was running um, a, a against Fullerton, as you know, he's the, the driver that he most admired, I think. Um, and it, it is beautifully restored. I mean, this is absolutely exactly period correct. It has the right wheels, it has the right... Uh, the right brakes, um, even the back axle stiffener is exactly as it would have been at the time. So again, perfect replica, really a lovely job. Yeah, you can see a lot of the similarities between the modern carts, perhaps this without the bodywork. And of course, we're starting to see the emergency of the real um, wide rear tyres as opposed to the earlier carts we've looked at where the tyres are uh, you know, quite, quite thin. That's right, you're onto the 7.1 wide rear tyres that, again, are run, to, are run today. So it's similar kind of width of rubber that you see today, but the difference, of course, is the grip has changed. You know, the, um, the, the modern rubber is even more sticky, and uh, that's what gives them the lap times, really. OK, well, thanks very much. Thank you very much indeed. You're very welcome. Time for the Shennington Super Prix 2017 to get underway. Here's the junior TKM grid. James Pashty and Joe Taylor from Ross Steele and Spencer Stevenson with Wellham, Harvey, Taylor, Nicholson, Dan McKeown and Ethan Newsham rounding out the top 10. Then we've got Dominic Kilmister and Zach Oates. Keep an eye out for some of the other top drivers working their way through the field. We may get some drivers pushing their way through to the front. Reese Baines could be an interesting one, lower down than he would like to start. So let's see how our pole sitter deals with the pressure. Here we go. Pashti storms right across to the right and then turns in for the left-hander at Park. And as we head for Cafe for the first time, we're hoping for a clean start as everybody gets through. And not cleanly at all. There's a little bit of loading and it's caused Will Day up on the top of Savannah Hardy. Sam Howarth and Johan Francis Jones caught up in that one as well as we go through to Stratford Hairpin for the first time. And it looks as though everybody else has just about got through unscathed, but it's Pashti in the lead. Looks like Will Day was loaded up into Cafe Corner, so it's Pashti from uh, the 19, Joe Taylor in second place, Rob Wellham is third. 
looks like oh, the others getting going again, coming out of Cafe Corner, so they will get going, but they're well down the field. Oh. And here comes the move for third place, and that is Spencer Stevenson on Rob Wellham, drops Wellham down one. Now, I'm just looking through the field. Ethan Newsham looks like he's coming through in about 10th position. I'll double check. He's ninth now, made the way past McKeown. Yellow flags, of course, as they extricate Will Day's cart from the scene of the accident. I think it's just off to the inside line of Cafe as the rest of the drivers involved in that one or dodging that one sweep through. And that is one of the slower carts just trying to get out of the way. That can cause a little bit of a traffic jam at Stratford Hairpin. But out in front, it is Pashley and Taylor running well in the lead of this race. Now, to find out more about this particular circuit and racing at this circuit here at Shellington, it's on the Warwickshire Oxfordshire border. Go to shellingtonkrc.co.uk to find out more. Down into Wilkins, then it's uh, Pashley from Taylor. Spencer Stevenson was on the 12, or is on the 12. Then comes uh, Rob Wellham. They are still the top four. In fifth place, it's still Harvey from Rossdale. Jack Nicholson on set and the. Uh, in seventh place on the 33 cart, Jake, from uh, Zach Taylor, Zach Oates, Ethan Newsham. We've got to come up with a Jack Nicholson one-liner, surely. <laughs> well, we'll wonder if he'll be shining by the end of this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, there it is. Go. Anyway, down towards, what you did there. <laughs> down towards the Bruno Chicane, and there's a new leader. Joe Taylor has made his way through into the lead past James Pashley. So now Stevenson has a chance to close in. Rob Wellham in fourth. Harvey, Deal, Nicholson, Taylor, Oates and Newsham. Great battles all the way through this field, but I would not be surprised if Pashley is not going to be content to sit in second place for long, especially now that he's got a very feisty Spencer Stevenson breathing down his neck. He checks over his right shoulder. How close is he? Well, I tell you, he's breathing you exhaust fumes. That's how close he is. And he dies for the inside of Cafe, and he's in a second position. Good move there from Stevenson as more battles through the field emerge. Fantastic move, that one. Ethan Newsham there in 10th place. Won the Super 1 British Karting Championships last time out at Gladding Horse Park. So he'll be looking to get further up the field than 10th. Picked out there is Stevenson on the 12th car there in second place. But it is the uh, 19 that leads it of Joe Taylor. Expect to see a lot of different leaders in this race. There's lots of quality through the field and it's still close. Yeah, I love this circuit. It really provides drama as Pashley dives up the inside of Stevenson. Wellham nearly cuts in to move into third position. I was just going to say, I love this place, Shennington. It really is the Monza of British karting. So many long straights with incredible sweeping bends. You can get so many fantastic overtaking moves through this magnificent circuit. As Taylor continues to hold station, Pashley in second, Stevenson third. From Wellham, Deal, Harvey, Taylor, Oates and Nicholson as they tighten up again out of Stratford. Down the run to Bruno Chicane. Now, James Pashley is obviously not content to be in second position. He wants to go for Joe Taylor. Stevenson still hovering underneath him, but that is bringing the likes of Wellham, Deal, Harvey and Taylor closer together. Keep an eye on Ross Deal in fifth position. He will want to get himself onto the podium here and with a few choice moves, defended well by Wellham there into Wilkins, but he's got a good opportunity to move forward and he's going to want to take it. Further back, we've got this scrap. What's that? That's Dan McKeown trying to close up on Nicholson and up the inside, trying to get the place back off Taylor. He can't get through, Bashley, and almost loses the position of Stevenson. Magnificent squabbling between our three leaders. Bashley has got through to second place. Make that first place. They come up to, into Stratford Hairpin one more time. So James Bashley on the and, nine cart. And Wellham's through into third as well. And I think that's dropped Stevenson down to fifth because I think Ross Steele got through into fourth place as well. Yeah, he did. That looks like it. So... Uh, Taylor led it, but not for long. It's Pashley that leads it now from uh, Taylor there on the 19 car. That's Rob Wellham on the 93. Is that uh, Ross Steele in yep. fourth? It is Ross Steele in fourth. So that means, as you say, Jake, Spencer Stevenson there down to fifth. But any one of these five can win it. And don't forget, this is, I don't like to call it a win or crash event, but it's a one weekend championship event. And all of these guys in the top five, they are only thinking about coming first. They're not interested in a podium. Here we go up the inside, Taylor goes for it, well a big, big tag slapper as he comes through. That was more rally cross than it was karting. And look who's got the lead as a result of all of that. That looks like Ross Steele has leapfrogged them all. Ross Steele from, I think that was fourth to first, wasn't it, through that turn. Great move by Wellham, just about held on to it, as you say. 
big tax slapper, but he's still there in third place. It was all for naught. And Stevenson's now second, so he's going to try and challenge Wellham in third. Pashley now fourth, and all the way down to fifth position has gone Joe Taylor with Oates now right underneath him. We've got a cart that's stopped out on the far side. Rob Wellham's actually been given a black and white flag I just saw there for contact. So calm it down, Rob. I know you want to win this race, but you can't banzai your way through every corner. So now he's going to try again, but he's got Pashley behind him, and he's chasing down Stevenson and Deal on the inside again. Deal is through, and he's got back into the lead again. So Deal and Stevenson swapping the lead as they come up to the Bruno chicane once again. Wellerman Pashley closing up. Now it's Deal at the front. Stevenson in second position. It keeps on changing between these two. Here they come down the straight, and is Stevenson going to get a run into Wilkins through Hanger? Is he going to dive up the inside? No, Wellem is going to dive up the inside. So Deal is in the lead. Wellem is now second. Third position, Stevenson from Pashley and Taylor. This was a five-cut train at the front. It's now seven, and it's about to be ten. The man chasing. Oh, there goes Wellem. Wellem on the inside, dives it right to the last thing to Cafe, and he takes the lead now. Man chasing is Dan McEwen, or was. He'll be right there now in the red suit with the white helmet. That is Dan McEwen, but here come the rest. And oh, oh, too wide! Oh. And there goes Stevenson. Stevenson spat out to the scenery. Absolute disaster. Let's watch because Stevenson's got Pashley on his inside coming, but Taylor's going for the inside of Pashley at the same time. Three into one won't go, and it's Stevenson who gets spat out. Stevenson came off worse. Pashley was the meat in a Taylor Stevenson sandwich as Taylor went up the inside. We're into the last lap, Jake. Oh my word, now Taylor and Pashley are having another crack at each other for third position this time. Hustled by Zach Oates behind them. Wellham is now fighting for the victory with Ross Deal. Deal trying to go round the outside because that's the only way Wellham's going to send him. He's not going to beat him. Rob Wellham's going to get the victory, but it is going to be close. Ross Deal's going to try and get into the line. Can't quite make it. Wellham takes the flag. Deal in second from Pashley. Ashley in third ahead of Taylor, Oates and McKeown. Taylor is seventh from Newsham, Harvey and Jack Nicholson. What a fantastic finish here in the Junior TKM Super Pre-Final. There was also a Mini X30 race going on at the same time. We never really saw any of them. It was Rob Wellham that won Junior TKM. Charlie Taipaldo Cole come through for the Mini X30 win.